Over the last four years, Safety Cover has met with over 1,500 design engineers in countless water jurisdictions to discuss best practices for backflow design. We've learned many things along the way, including how commonly the backflow preventer is installed in a subterranean vault. The water industry considers the University of Southern California's foundation for cross-connection control and hydraulic research the go-to for backflow preventer approval. Over the last five years, the foundation has consistently recommended that the backflow preventer should be installed above grade. The reason for this recommendation is that a vault can fill with water, and when it does, the institute indicates a potential cross-connection is created. This is a problem, since the water in the vault is not potable. What we've discovered is most engineers don't think about flooded vaults. After all, many include a sump pump. But if you talk to a backflow tester, they will tell you more than half the vaults they encounter are filled with water. When the backflow device is underwater, a potential cross-connection exists. Many of the water jurisdictions we've met with will tell you the same. More than half the vaults they encounter are filled with water. So if the backflow testers in water jurisdictions are fully aware that vaults commonly flood, and they are also aware of the potential cross-connection created when the backflow device is underwater, why is this still an accepted design? especially when an alternate solution is readily available. Many water jurisdictions realize the backflow device, when installed above ground and placed inside an ASSE 1060 enclosure, is safer than when installed in a vault. Not to mention the increased use of RPZ backflow preventers to safeguard public drinking water, which cannot be installed below grade. If you are a design engineer or water jurisdiction, think about this flooded vault and the risk it creates for the safety of our public drinking water. 